Um, so in this video, I wanted to talk with you about, uh, well, essentially it's my advice regarding long distance dating of Colombian women while you're in the United States, right? Um, there, um, there are a lot of people, they go on these dating apps, they go on Tinder, they go on Colombian Cupid, they meet a bunch of chicks and they, they arrange to spend time with them here and they think they're going to be really successful with them and, and, and sometimes they are, don't get me wrong, I'm just... It, 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 I, I am making this video in part because I just know I've had some people send me emails, right? I have a uh, blog that is related to my um, YouTube channel. And there's a contact form on here. Uh, and some people have sent me emails. And I can tell from those emails that there's some people out there that don't have the right idea and they're just going to be disappointed. They're just, they might get taken advantage of. But then, but then on the other hand, it's, it's the fact they don't understand a few things. They don't understand that these girls, they're much more here today, gone tomorrow, but there's a lot more of them, right? So it's, so at any rate, the best way is just, I'll go through these points. Okay. Number one, they're too flaky. I'm going to, and in a minute, I'll, I'll go through each one uh, in turn in detail. But first, I'll just hit on too flaky for long distance. Need to be, you, you really, they're too flaky. They're personalities. You need to be here to know them uh, more than American women or German or Canadian or Australians, etc. Um, stay here for at least three to four months. I think that's a minimum. If not, you can't, you know. And I think that if you really believe you're going to date Colombian women, you need to be in one of these categories. I really do. I don't think it's for someone who's just going to come down for two weeks, meet someone and go back. This is the best, best for these type of people. Um, now many girls will leave me along and they won't, they'll kind of string along, string along. And I, I can tell they're trying to figure out, am I one of the guys who are just here on a two week or a 12 day prostitute binge? Are they just a sex tourist or, or maybe not even a sex tourist, just a, uh, um, a tourist who's looking for a good time for during 12 days. They don't, a lot of them do not, the good girls don't want them. Any of the girls that are worth their salt, really, they don't, that's not what, no, that's no good. Um, now, another thing, their work schedule, right? You know, if you come for 12 days or something like that, no, bad idea. <laughs> Bad idea. They, the good girls are the ones who work and have a work schedule. Well, not all of them. Lots, there's quite a few of these chicks who, um, they're single mothers and they may be living with their parents and they may not have a job. So that's that. But a lot of them do have a job and, you know, you come for 12 days or two weeks and you think their work, what about their work? A lot of them work six days a week. So now here's a point I will concede. So as you know, I live here in Colombia. Uh, I live here for six months, then I go to Brazil for six months. Um, I'm a remote worker, I'm a software developer. Uh, entire, entirely remote, entire full-time job. It's I live where I want, right? So, um, and I've been doing that for going on three years. So uh, I will say this, approaching them from when you're abroad, when you are overseas, they find that very romantic. Okay, so I think there is something, I think there is some virtue. I think that there is something in it when they realize you're over there and you have video call and you could see, they could see where you work or you send them a picture. Hey, I'm at the 7-Eleven. And they go, wow, she, he's going to come to meet me. 
There's a lot of them that they think that's extremely romantic, etc. I will grant that. Now, this K-1 fiancé visa thing, oh, this is absolutely retarded. Do not even consider doing that. You, you live with her here first, right? Oh, that's okay. Have a child with her here, then consider it. Don't, don't, you know, this bring, I, I just, don't, don't do that. Don't think that. Okay, so, too flaky for long distance. Um, what does that mean? Well, the majority of these girls, um, they're, they don't, they're much more quick to kind of play at a relationship with you than American chicks. Uh, now, I definitely think Colombian chicks are a better choice than American chicks. There's no question about that. But they, um, they, they, you know, honesty is not quite isn't their strong suit. They're very nice people. They're friendly. They're laid back. They don't have big egos, right? These women don't think they're supposed to be anything other than women, which I can appreciate because, I mean, it absolutely bastardizes the male-female dynamic. I, I can't imagine wanting to date most of these American chicks. I mean, of course, they are different, but at any rate. And so... Uh, they're kind of loosey goosey with the truth, and and um, that's why you need to be here because you can see for sure that wow, she is going to meet me, right? She she is uh, going to meet me, um, and it's one of those things where uh, like you you know sometimes this is a bad map. I'll use this one. Uh, sometimes I have to go down to another part of the city and, you know, they don't show up sometimes. This is something that just absolutely drives me crazy. They will not, they sometimes don't show up. I would say it's maybe 20% of the time or, or 25. Um, and it's just rather infuriating and I just, uh, I can't believe it. And so that's what they'll do to you. I mean, these guys that are coming down here, I, you know, you're going to come down and discover that this chick who is acting like she's romantically interested in you is not. Okay? Is not. And so you need to be here personally and find that out for sure. You meet, if you're on Colombian Cupid um, if you're on, here on Colombian Cupid and you're, you're dating along and you meeting, let's say you meet 10 girls and you get the WhatsApp from three of them, or maybe it's 40 and you get the WhatsApp from, you know, six or seven or whatever, there's going to be some of them that will just totally flake off and they'll even agree to meet you and then they won't go or they'll say, oh, I couldn't make it. I mean, it's really a disrespectful type of thing, but it's, they don't completely, I guess they feel like if you're stupid enough, no, that's not a good description. I'm just seeing that this, no one can doubt me on this. There's no question that this phenomenon does happen. And, I, I, and so if you extrapolate that to an international situation, oh man, I, and you're crazy to think that, you know, you're that the one of these girls is going to keep her word. Some of them do, and I'm not saying that you shouldn't meet girls before you come here, or come to Brazil, come to Colombia, whichever it is. Because these, I have some subscribers who came, uh, who are also looking at Brazil. I just got a comment yesterday, guys, I just can't make up my mind, Brazil or Colombia, Brazil or Colombia, I say I understand. But, so, you, these guys think that um, they're getting their hopes up, they don't seem to realize that, especially on one chick, on one girl, oh man, don't do that. And it's not as though I don't think you should be with one chick long term and have 
a long, serious relationship and all that. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying in this environment, in this scenario, it's, it's doubly bad, okay? Because you're way far away. You haven't met her. But the other side of that is, well, yeah, you, you, you should meet girls before you come down. There's no reason why you shouldn't. Um, but just understand that, that of the five girls you meet and are talking to, um, you know, half of them will completely flake out. One of them, you'll discover she has a third child. That happened to me. I discovered this girl had three children, not two. And she admitted it to me. Um, and another one, she said in her profile she didn't have any kids. And then I found out that she did. Um, so, you know, so I, I think you get the idea. I hope you get the idea. I hope you get the idea or you could be waste a lot of time and energy when, you know, if you do it right, it's good. If you do it right, it's good. But I really think these guys that are coming down for 12 days or two weeks, um, I think they're setting themselves up for failure. Good strategy. So that leads right into this at least three to four months, at least three to four months. And don't focus in on just one either. I would say, you know, four or five. Um, yeah, so let me see. Oh yeah. These romance tours, very bad idea, right? That goes back to the three or four month thing. These romance tours are not about three or four months. They're like seven days or 12 days. That's just bonkers. Now, you could use one of these services where you can just go and meet the girls. At, I haven't done it, although I've sent in, I've requested information. I was thought it was interesting to try this. Um, you can, there's some of them. I think that one, A Foreign Affair, they will let you pay $400 and you can do one day of the socials. And during that time, you can meet like 50 women or something. I'm not saying that's a bad idea, but paying the $2,000 or $3,000, that's friggin' crazy. And also, you should not, you should go and you should stay here for three to four months and then do one of those socials of meet 50 girls. So best for retirees, remote workers, etc. So yeah, because it's easier to date women that are younger than you here, this is great for people that are kind of retiring or they have some residual income from somewhere. It could be a pension or, or what have you, they rent properties out, something, or remote workers like myself, or you have an online business or, or something like that. So now here's something. A lot of these girls I've discovered, they will lead you along for two weeks um, to, to make sure that you're not just here temporarily. I mean, this is, and it's a smart strategy on their part. Um, this is another reason why you've got to come here long term if you want to do it, if you want to date long distance before coming here. If you think there's going to be any return on your investment by using those apps prior to getting here, you've got to stay here long term. A lot, many of them, they're just going to try to find out this very quickly. Um, So, approaching them, all, they, this is definitely true. And another consideration with this, number six, is that, and this is going to sound like kind of crass or, or something like that. I'm not sure. But the, the truth is many of them do would much rather live in the United States than in their own country. And I think that many of them <laughs> write me off to begin with, uh, um, right away when they discover I'm not there. So that number six is kind of a counter argument. 
okay? It is, it cuts the other way to what I'm saying. Okay, book number six. Uh, and, well, no, mainly just number six is kind of the, they think it's more romantic. Uh, and we'll do this. Plus, they think they are more likely to end up living in the U.S. if you're coming towards them from abroad or while abroad, etc. So this is, uh, let's do a number seven. So number six of number seven are our, our, counter, our counter arguments. Okay, so there is an advantage to being somebody who's living in the States and that, you know, for many of them, and I'm not, here's the reason I mentioned it sounds crass. Uh, it's just an unavoidable fact of life that um, women do consider where a man is from and sort of the cultural and psychological and financial um, accoutrements or what's the word, the, the, the characteristic, characteristics that are concomitant um, there too. The, the, it's part of the deal. It's part of the bargain and, and they even think you're more attractive on some level. They'll love you more or they're at least willing to open the door so that a real relationship starts and then it's, you know, goes on from there. And, you know, it may be that initially you're not physically as attractive um, or psychologically, personally as attractive, whatever it may be, but because of because the fact that you're American or British or Canadian or whatever, and they might be going there, they are more interested in dating you. And so this is a counter argument, right? Um, uh, where maybe it helps you more to be there as opposed to here. Uh, but on the whole, on the whole, I would say it is. Still, I'm still, you know, two thirds, two thirds of me, seventy percent of me is still saying, well, no, uh, way too risky, way too, you know. I mean, it's just not a good idea. It's not. There's a lot of things that you can throw your money around on in this world. There's a lot of things that you can take a chance on in this world, but this is not one of them. I don't, especially when, if you engineer it properly, if you do your planning, if you're patient, you, you won't need to do that. You can be certain because also the consequences of making the wrong decision and bringing her back on some business like number eight are disastrous, I would say. I've never done it, thank God, I ne and I never will. Now, I would, if I married a girl here, I'd live with her here, I'd have kids with her here, the whole deal, all right? That's fine. But there, I'm no longer giving credit. I darn well know what's going on. I know who she is. I know what the deal is. She, you know, she has already foregone any opportunity at some for some quick ticket to the States, you know? So... Uh, yeah, you've got to be coming here for a decent amount of time. You, you really, you really do. You shouldn't think that, oh, I'll just meet this. I'll go down there. We'll kind of have a relationship. We'll fall in love and then I'll just bring her back to the States. No, don't try that. What you should do is spend five years accumulating the wherewithal, the ability to live here long term um, or, or at the least stay here for six months, but then even six months, I mean, what, if you have to go right back to the United States and then be away from her for another, be away from her for another year or two, or what, what's, how's, I, I don't think that's a good idea at all. Um, I really don't. So, Spend five years or whatever amount of time it takes to make it so you could stay here long term. 
um, and then try dating that way. Uh, on the other hand, okay, if you don't are if you don't believe you'll ever have that ability, um, at all, um, go ahead and try it. Uh, maybe uh, there are some women here that might be willing to have a child by you. Um, see how much she really likes you. Have a child with her here. Tell her you'll support her. Um, and see if she goes for that. Um, but in that situation, she's the one extending credit to you, not vice versa, right? Bring her back to the States after you've, she's, you and her have made a child together or something like that. Otherwise, it's just no way. Don't do it, okay? Okay.